going to talk some more about quarters. This is part two. If you want to see part one, there's a link in this video's description if you missed it. So that's a quarter. That's the front and that's the back. It's worth 25 cents. A quarter is worth 25 cents. And we can add up totals of pennies, nickels, or dimes to make them equal to one quarter. So I have a lot of coins right here. See all these? I have pennies and nickels and dimes. We're going to add more coins so we can make a total equal to one quarter. So I have two dimes and I have four pennies. We want to make it equal to one quarter. So what do I need to grab from here to make that equal to a quarter, which is 25 cents? We have a 10 and a 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. 21, 22, 23, 24. So which coin would I need to make this equal to the quarter? We'd need to add another penny, wouldn't we? There we go. Now we have five pennies, and that's equal to a quarter. How about here? We have a dime, a nickel, and a nickel. That's 10 plus 5. That's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 5 more. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So we have 20 cents. We want it to be equal to a quarter. So what coins could we add to this to make it equal to a quarter? Well, we could add a nickel, couldn't we? We're at 20, and if we add a 5, that would be 25, wouldn't it? Do you know what else we could add to this? We could add 5 pennies, couldn't we? We could put 5 pennies here. That would be equal to a quarter, wouldn't it? 20 and 5 pennies. So we can either put a nickel there or we could put 5 pennies there and it would be equal to a quarter. How about this one? We've got a 5 and a 5 and a 5. That's 3 nickels. 5 plus 5 is 10 and 5 more is 15. But we want it to be equal to a quarter. So what coins could we add? Well, we need how much more to be 25 cents? We're at 15 cents. We could add a dime. If we have 15 cents and 10 cents, that would be 25 cents. We could add anything that equals 10 cents. We could add two nickels. That's 10 more cents. That would give us 25 cents. We could also add 10 pennies, couldn't we? That would be 25 cents, and that would be equal to a quarter. Okay? We can write each amount and then circle the amounts that are the same as a quarter. So we can count on. We have four nickels and three pennies. We have five and five, that's 10. We have another five and five, that's another 10. So that means we have 10 and 10, that's a 20. 21, 22, 23. We have 23 cents here. Get a marker that works, right? How about here? We have five nickels. Can you count by fives? Well, we can say 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, or we can put them into groups of 10. That's a 10, and that's a 10. So that's 20, and 5 is 25. That's 25 cents. Now it says to circle the amounts that are the same as a quarter. And 23 cents isn't the same as a quarter, but 25 cents is, right? So we're going to circle that. Here we have two dimes. That's 10 cents and 10 cents. Well, 10 plus 10 is 20. That's 20 cents. But that's not equal to a quarter, is it? That's only 20 cents. What about now? We have a dime and a dime and a nickel. Now we have 20 plus a 5. That's 25. That's equal to a quarter, so we're going to circle that one too. How about here? We have a dime and a dime and 5 pennies. That's 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 
That's 25 cents. And you know what? We can circle that one too because it's equal to a quarter, right? So we can just use different coins to make them equal to a quarter, to 25 cents, all right? Let's try some problem solving. Bob has two dimes and three pennies in his pocket. How many more pennies does he need to make a quarter? So he's got two dimes and three pennies. That's a 10 and a 10. That's 20, 21, 22, 23. He's got 23 cents here. How many more pennies does he need to make a quarter? 23, 24, 25. He needs two pennies. How many more pennies does he need? He needs two pennies, right? Let's look at this one. Tala has two nickels and five pennies. She has two nickels and five pennies. Bob has one dime and 15 pennies. So here's the one dime and here's the 15 pennies. So who has the same as a quarter? Well, two nickels is 10. That's 11, 12, 13, 14. She's got 15 cents. And he's got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So he's got 25 cents. So who has the same as a quarter? Bob does, right? Because he's got 25 cents, all right? One quarter is worth 25 cents. So see if you can get some pennies and nickels and dimes and put them into different combinations to see how many different ways you can make a quarter. All right? It's good practice. I'll see you next video. Bye.